Baby Charles didn't know was that Mr. Morgan was a very calculated man, a supreme thinker, and master manipulator. They used to call him the Maya Lansky of the good brothers. He wasn't the boss of all bosses for nothing. But anyway, he spotted Baby Charles coming a mile away. See, no matter what prison he was in, he was the boss of all bosses and ain't shit get by him. He might have been an old man, but with age come wisdom. So if Baby Charles thought he was playing chess, he was playing against one of the greatest players in the world. But anyway, so after Charles bopped off, Mr. Morgan told one of the good brothers that was standing security. All right, so this is the word I want you to get over there, the F-dorm over there. When Unk talk, he always keep his hand over his mouth so nobody don't see what he's saying. When they get back from dinner tonight, I want that dude airlift up out of here. Yeah, because going out his way to make things right, instead of going out his way to make things right, he dis disrespectfully after the little brother's court life or something he was a part of came in here on our territory sold his drugs untaxed then tried to finesse his way out of paying good brothers was rightfully theirs they didn't went and got life sentences and they ain't opened their mouth to say a word but instead of looking at that for what it is and doing what's right he come to me with the technology so let them know over there in Neftorm, i want a seasoned member put on this mission and everything he got is to be confiscated. That's the most important part. I don't want to hear no excuses. Tell him make sure it get done right. So the good brother that was on security detail, like, yes, sir. I'm all over the situation. Mr. Morgan say, all right. He gets up off the bench. And he tell his security, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead on and walk around the yard a couple times before they close this yard down. And he starts spinning the yard with his security trailing behind him. All right, boom. So when the COs shut the yard down, everybody start making their way back in the building. So baby Charles, when he get back in F dorm, he run and get in the shower. While he in there washing up, the working man slid the good brothers in F dorm a kite with all the instructions coming straight from Mr. Morgan. The top ranked brother in F dorm was a good brother named Black. And he was given the task of selecting a seasoned hitter to go on that mission. Without even giving it a second thought, he knew it was nobody better for the mission than an old battle hardened good brother. Been down 27 years. His name was Jasper. Jasper was quiet, laid back, stayed to herself a lot. He was the laundry man and tear runner. He used to sweep and mop and tear every night. If you've been around in the different prisons with him throughout the years, then you know he was a good brother. But if you ain't been around big for a while, nine times out of ten, you ain't even know he a brother. Because of how he moved, he real discreet. So the good brother Black pulled him up, let him know, look, this coming straight from the horse's mouth. You was handpicked for this mission. They want him raw and hit at the feet up. The most important in part of the directive is to get all the smack. So after hearing everything he said, Jasper looked black in his eyes and told him, I'm going to take care of him. See, Jasper was a killer with no conscience. And Mr. Morgan knew it. It didn't matter if he was hitting a nigga or a CEO. Jasper would get it done all the same. But anyway, Jasper went back to doing laundry. Baby Charles come up out the shower with his boxes on get the drying off in his bump area. Feeling good, like he just crawled out of a hole. In his mind, niggas can't touch him now. As long as he got the smack, he can play puppet master, you feel me? Pull strings. He get his clothes on and shit, go hop on the phone. Call up town, talk to his girl. He on the phone telling his girl everything. But lying, making it seem like the hell he having his way in that bitch. She telling him to be careful. But he bluffing, telling her, man, niggas know better, blah, blah, blah. Cappy, old time from a distance, Jasper watching all his moves. Once his phone clip was up, he laid back on his bunk with his headphones on. Bumping mob deep till he drifted off to sleep. A couple hours later, when the police come on the tear to do stand-up count, another Muslim dude named Rafiki, who slept next to him, tapped him on his shoulder, woke him up. Count time. He leans up off the bed, take his headphones off, stand in front of his phone. While the officer come around with the clipboard taking count. No later than about 40 minutes after count, he start calling different dorms to go to feed up. Now, once baby Charles see they starting to left the other tears out for feet up, he get looking around, making sure ain't nobody watching him. But the whole time, the brother Jasper got a newspaper, peeking over top of the newspaper, watching him. Charles goes in his locker and get the digging in his mail bag. He had a big bag full of mail. Well, stashed within his mail in certain envelopes that he put clever markings on so that he can know them apart. This nigga had like 20 grams of smack tucked away in different envelopes with small little plastic bags of coffee in the envelopes with the smack to cover up the smell. Cause everybody know they bring them dogs in there when it's time to shake down a jet. But anyway, old 
whole time he doing this, he going through his mail, getting his shit out. The good brother Jasper watching him, thinking like he reading the newspaper, thinking to himself like, oh, okay, that's where he hiding it at. Well, baby Charles, he slide a grandma one of the envelopes. Tuck that, then take him, put the envelope back in the bag, tie the bag up, stick it back in his locker. Put the combination lock on his locker. Then the COs open the door and call F to him for feet up. It's mass movement. They get to making their way down the cafeteria. Charles got the smack tucked away in his dip in case they try to pull him to the side and search him. He had it out of his balls. The whole time he walked to the cafeteria, he just thinking, if I can control this old man with some smack, that man I'm controlling all them niggas. A smile crept across his face when he thought about that. Because in his mind, he really playing chess. But anyway, the whole time he walked and Jasper never strayed but a few feet from behind him, keeping his eyes on the target, not letting him out of sight. Baby Charles is oblivious, blind to the fact that he got a seasoned killer on his ass.